Tonight, we're expecting Charlotte City leaders to give the green light on a multi-million dollar tennis complex. It would be part of the new River District project to all to revitalize Charlotte's west side. WCNC Charlotte's Lexi Wilson has been speaking with county commissioners today. Joining us live now from the government center. So Lexi, this complex, um, it would be big for the Queen City. I'm sure it's a pretty penny as well. That's right, and today I spoke to a county commissioner who says tonight's vote is an exciting one as this facility could become a big economic driver. Building begins on the west side of Charlotte. But it's not just about building new development, it's about building for the future. A lot of us are really excited about what this project will potentially bring to the community. Tonight, county commissioners are expected to approve $30 million for the tennis facility called Project Breakpoint. It's a 14,000 seat tennis arena with more than 40 pickleball courts in the city's new River District. There's hope it'll expand the Queen City's portfolio of major sports. We have basketball, we have football. I mean, we'll be bringing tennis, we have soccer. So, I mean, we are just really becoming a well-rounded city, an attraction for people not only in the region but across the country. The goal is to attract major tennis tournaments and other events to the area. Developers say the project would bring an additional 650,000 visitors to Charlotte each year, along with thousands of jobs. Meanwhile, the tennis community says it's greatly needed. Right now that we are underserved in terms of the number of courts that are actually open to public uh, for public play. So it's long overdue. And planners of the facility hope to have it completed by 2026. Again, tonight's meeting starts at 6 here at the Government Center. Reporting live in Uptown for WCNC Charlotte, I'm Lexi Wilson. Lexi, thanks so much.